You know, one of these days, my book Buying Habit will catch up with my book Reading Habit. Hey everyone, welcome back to Andrew's Wizard of Reads. And as always, guys, I'm Andrew. And today, today, guys, today I got another book call for you. But before we get into that book call, make sure you are liking and subscribing and hitting that bell notification so you can get regular updates for when I put out new content. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Now that said, guys, this is going to be a pretty sizable book haul, but at the same time, it's a pretty cheap book haul. Uh, in August, they were running just tons of ebook sales, like just giving them away for free or like 99 cents. So while I do have a lot of books here, I didn't spend a lot of money on them. In fact, I'd be surprised if I really spent um, more than my bookly budget on these. So let's go ahead and get right on in with the digital sales. And let me kind of scoot over so I can open this up to show you all the ebook purchases or the audios. So on audio, I got Pawn's Gambit. This is book two in the Mortal Instruments standalone uh, trilogy that is going on by Mr. Rob J. Hayes. I really, really enjoyed Never Die. I read that before I launched my booktube channel. But guys, I am so excited to get to this, especially because of uh, the Century Blade short story that he just released uh, that is also a part of this book haul that I have already read. Next, uh, I saw a Facebook post from an author and then like it started showing up on my Twitter feed and uh, I'm starting to notice other people reading this. I got Assassin, a dark epic fantasy novel, uh, The Dark Blade, book one by Andy Pelequin. And I don't know a whole lot about this, but I do enjoy Assassin fantasy. Uh, so I haven't read a whole lot in that genre, but it is something that I am looking to kind of expand and grow on. And <laughs> you know, I played all the Assassin's Creed games. You know, I like to I like to stab somebody in a in a cold dark alley and then disappear. And so it's and sometimes that's just fun to read. Uh, then I got books one, two, three, part one and two of the Emanesca series on ebook by Ben Galley, and that includes, I already had the written, but uh, he gave away for free uh, earlier in August, uh, Pale Kings, which is book two, Dead Stars, uh, which is book three, part one, and Dead Stars, part two, uh, which was technically listed as book four. And then I also picked up The Forever King, which is the Scalasian Chronicles, book one, and I actually won a Heavy Lies the Crown signed edition from the author on a Twitter giveaway, but I have yet to receive that in the mail, so I'm still kind of waiting on that. So I'm hoping that that will be a part of the September haul instead of the August. I also picked up Daros by Dave Dobson. Uh, this just looks like a, uh, it was free and it was sci-fi. So free and sci-fi, I figured why not just snatch it. So I don't know a whole, whole lot about this, but I'll go ahead and show you the cover art. Uh, I also picked up Blood of the Spear by Mark Timoney. I remember first hearing about this book um, from Petrick, uh, and he did, I think he did a cover reveal for this book, and it's supposed to have like Wheel of Time-ish vibes, if I'm remembering correctly, and I just had to have it. So as soon as I saw it on sale for like a dollar, it was like a dollar ninety nine, I think, and I had a credit, so I ended up paying like a dollar six for this, and I just couldn't pass it up. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? I gotta go to the next screen. Alright, let's see here. I also got... Hmm. I got the Obsidian Arc Ship, which is the Arc Ship Saga. I got all three books of this, I believe, for free. And these are by Neil Bushnell. Uh, so the book one is Ar Arc Ship Obsidian. Book two is Arc Ship Vengeance. And book three is Arc Ship Alliance. And again, all three by Neil Bushnell. Uh, it's really interesting, like, covers. The covers reminded me of Mass Effect. And so just because it reminded me of Mass Effect and, like, Mass Effect relays and stuff like that, I went ahead and picked them all up. Uh, I figured for free, I wasn't going to find a better deal. And then I also, this is all Alan's fault. Alan posted a review of The Folding Knife by K.J. Parker. And I went on ebook uh, on the Kindle store just kind of willy-nilly, just wondering how much they were charging for. It was $1.99. And at $1.99 and with how much Alan loved it, I didn't have an excuse not to pick that up. And I also have uh, two of uh, K.J. Parker's books already on the shelf, so I figured, why not? So I went ahead and picked that up. I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but I'm hoping to fit it in 
sometime in 2022. All right, and then also for about, I paid $3.18 for this, for this trilogy. I had heard, uh, I'd seen a review of it on uh, Twitter. And so when I saw that they were on sale, I went ahead and snatched them up because the review that I saw, and I, for, I apologize, I should take notes. I don't know who posted this review, but uh, it, these are, this is a trilogy by William Ray and Tom Parker. And that is uh, Gedland, A Tale of the Varen Empire, Shadow Debt, A Tale of the Varen Empire, and The Great Restoration, a Tale of the Varen Empire. And these are Flintlock Fantasy books. I've been looking to explore more Flintlock Fantasy. I'm hoping to start Shadow Campaigns in 2022. But after that, and, and I'm, I'm reading Guns of the Dawn in a couple months. Actually, next month, I'm reading Guns of the Dawn. So I'm going to be getting some Flintlock Fantasy. I'm currently reading through Shadows of the Apt. I'm really enjoying this style of fantasy, and I want to get more of it. And uh, let's see, what else did I get? So we are finally catching up. So I'm pretty much done telling you what ebooks I bought. But I also, um, Audible did a sale. And so for $7, I couldn't pass it up uh, because Alan and uh, Sarah from Sarah Reads have been just gushing about this book. And that is The Winter King by Bernard Cromwell. Or Cornwell, sorry, not Cromwell, Cornwell. Uh, and I believe I'd heard good things from the Brothers Gwyn as well. And so those are three reviewers whose opinions I highly, highly respect. And my tastes tend to align pretty well. And so, like, I mean, even if it is more like an historical fiction type Arthurian tale, um, I did, I, I just had to have it. Especially, Alan says, the narrator is just absolutely fantastic. So I am super excited to get to the Winter King. No idea when I'm going to, but it will be soon. Another one that I picked up for free, we've got a book deals um, channel in the Wizard of Discord, which if you haven't joined, the description is down below. Uh, the link is in the description down below. Sorry. Uh, and that is Blood of Hairs, which I guess this uh, was a ranked SFPBO. I always get that acronym confused. But uh, it, was in, it was in the contesting. I think it was a semifinalist. And it was free. So I went ahead and snagged that one as well. Uh, like I said, I just, I, I got so many free books. And then, like I said earlier, I picked up The Century Blade, which is kind of a fable-like short story set in the world of the mortal techniques by Rob J. Hayes. I've already read this one. It was like a dollar six, And it was pretty good. I gave it like three stars on Goodreads because it's only like 7,000 words. So it was a very quick read. It was like 30 pages. Uh, and that is all of my ebook purchases for August. Now, uh, I did get a lot of gifts. I also did a few repurchases here as well. And speaking of e-purchases, if you remember on a previous haul, um, I had gotten books, I believe four and five of the Shadow Campaigns by Django Rexler. And they were in really, really bad condition. I believe I got them off of Better World Books. And I just was unhappy with the condition that those came in. And, and so I was on the hunt. I had to buy multiple copies of these books. But I finally got some really good, you know, this one's got a couple spine wrinkles. That's fine. But otherwise, these are pristine. And so I got Guns of the Empire, book four, and the Eternal or the Infernal Battalion, book five. So I'm super excited to have copies of these now, and I can proudly display them on the shelf. Now, these three books uh, belong in July's book haul. I literally forgot to pull them off the shelf, and I wanted to share them with you. So these are previous book hauls, so I didn't buy these in August. But I was able to secure The Ninth Reign by Jen Williams. So the entire Winnowing Flame trilogy, I believe is what it's called. I got The Bitter Twins. And I got The Poison Song. So this is a very, very handsome collection. Uh, I noticed uh, Sean from um, Lawson uh, Films, Film and Floss uh, had posted in the Discord that they were available on Book Depository, and I just went snatched, because uh, for a while they were really hard to find, and I just had to have them. And then I got two gifts from my good friend Sharon Dwyer. Um, I always appreciate people going into the Amazon wish list, which I always include in the description down below, and buying me books. It, there is no better feeling than getting book mail. You never have to, but if you want to put a smile on my face for the day, that's one way to do it. Um, so I had picked up a copy of The Atlantis Gene by A.G. Uh, Riddle at my local Half Price Books, and I was just super intrigued. I wanted these thrillers. My booktube big sister, Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative, gave them a stunning review, or gave it a stunning review. And so I added 
the second and third book to my wish list, and Sharon was so kind and went on there and got these for me. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Sharon. I really, really appreciate it. And then I don't know if I've mentioned this book in uh, a book haul, uh, but my good friend Kate from the Literary Apothecary got me a physical copy of Nightfall, Volume 1 of the Nightmare Land Chronicles by Daniel Barnett. Daniel is one of my new favorite authors. I'm uh, just now wrapped up with Nightmare Land Chronicles of what's been released. Book 6, I'm hoping, will be out soon. I've actually reached out to Daniel to get uh, signed copies of the rest of the series. So I'm just kind of waiting for those to come in. So those should hopefully be September or October book haul. But I mean, I love this so much. You will you will constantly hear me talk about Nightmare Land Chronicles. And I'm also hoping to get Daniel's other works as well because Daniel is not only an amazing human being, but a fantastic author. So thank you, thank you, thank you, Kate. I am so happy to have this in my collection now. And then let's see here. For my good friend Evie. Evie did a lot of unhauls lately, just kind of clearing up her shelves and stuff like that. And I've been hearing a lot about Dan Simmons' Hyperion and just how good it was. And so I kind of was like, hey, can I get your copy of Hyperion that she was unhauling? She said, sure. And this was like, I mean, she only charged me shipping light in like $3. So thank you, Evie. I am so happy to have this in my collection. And what makes me super happy about this copy of Hyperion is look at that. Oh yeah, I can do this all day. All day, the book flop back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Love me a good floppy book because I know the spine is gonna survive when I read it. All right, so we've got a few more here. Uh, I've mentioned these already on the TBR, but I was sent by the both of these by uh, self club authors. That is Cooper Station by Wilbur Seymour. Uh, again, if you watched the TBR video, this is a very dark and gritty um, kind of space epic, like where some pirates have taken over a space satellite. And uh, yeah, this was sent to me by the author, uh, and I am planning to do to read this hopefully this month and get a Goodreads review in. And I mean, this is this is going to be really 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 gritty because the, I, I read like the first couple pages and just tons of f bombs, and it's just it throws you right into that world. So this is a very dark, very in your face uh, kind of sci fi, and I am super excited because the author says that he's still working on the other books, or he says two and three are done. And four is coming out. So if I love this, I will consider continuing the series. And then I also got sent by T. James Kelly, The Dark Trials. This is a YA paranormal thriller, which I can always use more thrillers in my life. It's actually a, a, a genre that I don't typically cover on the channel. But uh, luckily, paranormal fits kind of in my, in my brain in the fantasy scope. And so uh, he, I had commented on my good friend Bryce from Shelf Centered, uh, who had reviewed and gave this a glowing review that, like, if it was one of the best books he had read this year, I definitely wanted in on some of that action. And so the author reached out to me after seeing my comment on YouTube and sent me this very, very nice personalized copy. It says, Andrew, love your channel. Great stuff. Keep it up. Hope you enjoy The Dark Trials. Thanks. So thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I love, love this copy. And I'm hoping to read it this month. And then uh, I have been slowly reading through the Cradle series, and so I have just just finished Sky Sworn, which was a gift from my good friend, uh, the Boiled Jellyfish, in the Discord, and he had been sending me all of these. But I figured I would pick up five and six on my own because, frankly, I just love, love these copies. They are so handsome. They're good. They're nice and floppy, and they just line up so well with the spines. They've got the little badge. They've got the gnome publishing symbol, and it's just really, really well done. I love these books. So I picked up book five, Ghostwater, and book six, Underlord, to add it to my Cradle collection. And then after I had purchased these books, um, my good friend, the Boiled Jellyfish, just went, always so generous, went back onto that Amazon wish list and sent me volume seven, volume seven and volume eight of the Cradle series. So I almost have all of the physical copies now. Just thank you. Thank you so much. Whenever you send these to me, it means the world to me. And I display these very prominently right in front of my desk. You can't see it back here because I'm always looking at them uh, over here on some shelves that I have over here. And I just really, really appreciate getting gifts from, um, from viewers and friends in the Discord. So thank you, thank you, thank you. It means so much to me 
when uh, you send me these books. I absolutely love this series. And then somebody, I don't know who, sent me Eye of the World. This, this original hardcover edition of Eye of the World with that gorgeous blue. This is actually my preferred version of the Eye of the World. It came with a, a, a slip that was completely blank. I, I don't know who sent this to me, but if you did send this to me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Make yourself known. So, um, yeah, I got another copy of Eye of the World, and this is going to be gonna, going back up and completing that, that kind of original hardcover collection. So thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a duplicate, but it is a version that I didn't have, and I just cannot thank you enough. And then, because I've been reading The Expense, I went ahead and picked up the sixth book in this uh, saga, which is Babylon's Ashes. I am not quite to this point yet, but I figured, why not? The series is getting ready to wrap up here soon, and I wanted to have all of these in these gorgeous hardcovers. So I now own the first six, which I believe I only have two more to purchase until the ninth one drops, and the set is finished. All right, guys, and we are finally getting ready to reach the end of the book haul. I've got five more books here for you. So uh, there was a read-along that took place uh, with a few members in the Discord, or they were talking about it in the, in the Discord, and it kind of it piqued my interest. And that's going to be Ken Liu's The Grace of Kings. This is the Dandelion, uh, what's it called? The Dandelion Chronicles? The Dandelion Dynasty. Uh, and this is described as silk punk. So it's like Industrial Revolution, Asian-inspired, uh, if I have an understanding of it. So I got The Grace of Kings, and I got Wall of Storms. I am super excited to get to these. They are big, beefy, chunky books. But I've heard that the prose is amazing. I've heard the story is amazing. I've heard nothing but great things. And look at those, side by side. Oh, they look gorgeous. These are beautiful, beautiful copies. And I think the th I've got the third book pre-ordered for, which I believe releases in November. And then I think there will be one more book after that. And then if you watched uh, my good friend Nico's book uh, haul recently, which I'll go ahead and link up in the cards, uh, he kind of stopped into town and I took him to a brewery slash bookstore that sells hardcovers and paperbacks for a dollar, uh, just depending on what selection they have. And he picked up a few books and I picked up a few books. And of those, I picked up three books. Now, these are all mass market paperbacks. These are all well-loved. I got Eon by Greg Bear. This is, I believe, a Hugo winner. Or, sorry, it's a multi-Nebula and Hugo winner. Uh, or, excuse me, uh, winner and author of Blood Music. So, I guess Blood Music is a Hugo and Nebula winner. But this is written by an author who won those awards. And that is Eon. I don't know a whole lot about this. I think it's like classic fantasy... Uh, si Classic fantasy. Sorry, you can tell I've been talking too much. This is my. Cl this is a classic uh, sci-fi story. It's a bit chunky. The pages are have that kind of classic yellow, yellowish look. But I'm super excited to get to this. I don't know when I will, but I will eventually. Maybe like 2023. Who knows? And then I've been hearing a lot about Mercedes Lackey and Daryl Dixon, uh, and I decided to pick up books one and two of the Mage War uh, trilogy, which is set in, I believe, Mercedes Lackey's world, which I don't actually know the name of. But uh, it's got, like, pictures of griffins on them, and so I thought that was super interesting, and I just had to pick them up. Because I want to start Mercedes Lackey, but I don't know where to start. I mean, look at that. Uh, this was super dirty when I bought it, and I was able to clean it up. But yeah, that is really, really awesome. And then we've got the white griffin as well. Uh, these are super cool, very classic covers. I don't know a whole lot about them. Uh, you can let me know in the comments down below if this is a good place to start Mercedes Lackey or if I should be starting somewhere else. I know there is a definitive trilogy, something about horse riders or messengers uh, that a lot of people start. I know uh, chronologically this comes before them, but it comes after in publication order. So let me know in the comments down below if you've read Mercedes Lackey and if I've made a good purchase decision. Uh, that said, also in the comments down below, let me know about what books you picked up in the month of August. Do you have a book collecting problem like I do? Should I impose a book buying ban on myself? Please say no. Uh, that said, guys, that is everything that I have for you in this book haul. Make sure to check the description down below for the link to the Wizardly Duo Discord. We would love to have you. And till next time, guys, peace out. Stay magical. Bye.